Hello and welcome everyone, this is Fragger here from Achievement Hunter, and I am here to play more of this happy, fun game of puppies, rainbows, and sunshine known as Splatterhouse. Now we are going to begin the collectibles, which include gramophones and pictures of Jen, which will net you the two achievements on the screen. Now, what these will also do is help you progress in Dr. West's notebook. And I'll explain more later on in the video. Now, at the very beginning of the game, you're going to, you know, not really have control over Rick. The first fight where you do have control over Rick, I showed it in my first video, the very beginning of my first video. Left-hand side of that room, bam, is that gramophone. Now, you saw leaving that room going into here. On the floor is your first piece of a gen picture. Now, I can't exactly show these pictures in these videos, but you'll kind of get the idea. Now, a little later on, there's going to be some boxes in front of a door. Now, this is where that guy jumps you that I showed you in the last video. So, keep that in mind. If you open that door, he's going to jump you. But, if you just hook to the right, bam, you get your next gramophone. Now, after you've had your arm ripped off, um, go into the room I'm showing you. So, facing the door you can't open, it's on the... Facing the door you can't open, it's on the right-hand side. Now, the other door that was open at the beginning is another piece of gen. And in the back right-hand corner is the next gramophone in order to listen to ramblings of a crazy man who probably likes to cover himself in butter every night. Who knows? Now, a little bit later on, you get to this room where Jen screams from the, from the floor, and you're like, I want to get her, and Terra Mask's like, ground pound like Iron Man. Don't do that. Um, go near him, near that hole, and there is your next picture of Jen. Hmm. Now, towards the end of the level, you're going to get to a room... The room that I'm showing you here, on the rightmost cell, is the final piece of the picture of Jen. Okay. And uh, what you get is an achievement. Hooray. Five gamer score. Now, let's move on to... Phase two. The doll that bled. <laughs> okay, then. Now, at the very beginning of the level, you're going to see these two blood ciphers that you have to fill with blood. Now, there's going to be two grinders on the left-hand side that you put ex-students that are now monsters. And now you, um, and you use that to fill the cipher. Now, there's two ciphers. You have to hit the one on the right-hand side in order to open up both doors. Now, the reason why you want to do this is the second door is where the first picture of the next, next piece of the next picture of Jen, sorry. So, you have to kind of do it in the way I'm doing it. There may be a way where you can just use this second, the second grinders here. I don't know. I'm, I just didn't have the time to check. I'm sorry. Now you can see here, I killed them in the cut. And in the back of that room, Shazam. Next picture of Jen. She's not very shy, is she? Now, in the after the side-scrolling section, we have to impale people on a wall. Left door that you have to pry open. Hey, look! The lower half of Jen, I guess. You know. Now, in the room with the bloody bed, you'll know what I mean. There's going to be a gramophone here in the back of the room that you can access by looking at it very scarily. Now, quite a bit later on in the game, this is actually towards the end, you're going to be in this red room where there's no monsters. Right hand side is the gramophone, now there's the two doors. You can go in these doors in any order, I just happen to go left and right because it's what I felt like doing. Sue me, don't care. Now, with the skeleton dude that I have no idea what his name is, just beat the crap out of him like I did with an arm, just kind of flapping around. And then you pick up the next thing I can't show you. Hi, Jen. You're very special, I guess. Moving on into the next room, as I walk around very gingerly. So I break down the door, and I was like, holy crap, there's enemies. But luckily, you have an arm, which is, for some reason, one of the most deadly things in the game, and I just dispatch them very quickly. And then there's your final gramophone for probably the next couple of levels, to, by my mark. So, when Rick gets around to hitting, there you go. Now, at the very end of the level, you'll see right here, I'm dodging crap. You'll be in this hallway. Now, at the first set of alcoves, on the right-hand side, hey, what could that be? Is that a picture of Jennifer that I can finish now? Yes, it is. There's more things I can't show you. Hooray for nudity. You also may notice I unlocked more of West's journal. You do that by completing levels on all the difficulties and the survival maps. But that's it for now. I'm Fragger, and check Achievement.com for more stuff. See ya!